hello everyone welcome to this youtube channel and in this series i'm going to talk about network device automations and i will be using ansible for that we will talk more and more about uh, the advantages of um, using ansible but first we will start from the basic stuff and i'm going to use gns so that i can have a topology where we can use different uh, vendor specific uh, platforms so i'm going to start with wios here so which is also open source and you can just go online and uh, get uh, uh, ISO images of that so uh, I will be using wires 118 which is a stable one and uh, they do have a, a every night builds also that comes up with latest fixes or maybe uh, some other features as well but uh, for this tutorial I would prefer a stable one you guys can also go with um, freshly built images as well so let's uh, try to go online and try to download one. So I already have this open here. So maybe I can just go back. And uh, so all you need to do is look for uh, whatever image you want to download. And uh, so in this case, I will be using 118. And uh, I already have this downloaded. So I'm going to skip this part here. So let me check. Yep. So now I will be using uh, VirtualBox to uh, spin up uh, this image. So so let me just remove this one because I don't need this. So to have a new image you can just click on new and you can give any name you want here so I will be giving wios bot1 and you can choose the type so I will be assigning like uh, around 1 GB so this should be sufficient and let's just try to create a virtual box disk image I think 2 GB would be sufficient. So let's configure this. So for storage now you can just uh, go to the ISO image and you can choose that. And then for uh, network adapters configuration part, uh, I will be just uh, marking it. Uh, as not attached because uh, we will be controlling this through GNS so let's enable these as well now we can just simply start <coughs> sorry for that So first time basically it will uh, load everything from the ISO image provided and and then from after this we will just simply uh, store it and we don't have to go to the ISO image every time we need to just start this. So you can give the credentials here, password. Uh, I think to install the image command is install image yes so uh, I will be just uh, going ahead with default options here if you don't want to customize anything you can simply just uh, go for the default ones So show the configuration we have command show configuration let's see uh, if we if we want to just uh, show the interfaces then the command would be show interfaces Ethernet so we do not have any IP address configured 
so basically we have nothing configured on uh, onto this device for now so uh, let's just power off this okay so go back to the setting now we do not uh, need this so we can just simply remove it and again we can just start this So yep, now you don't know, uh, you do not need that uh, ISO image every time you come up with this. So now we can just simply uh, have this appliance in uh, GNS, and there we can just simply configure this. So I'm going to close it. Let's start with GNS. I'm going to call this project VBOT and so let's go to the preferences and here we have virtual box and we can just add our new one So uh, we can see why was bought one and let's just finish this. So here you can uh, select the number of adapters. So I will be uh, having four and if you want to change the name format and all that. So okay. So let's see whether we have it here or not. Yes. You can just change the symbol from here. Okay. And let's just uh, start this. So yeah, so uh, we were able to uh, have this appliance in GNS and now in next video uh, we are going to configure this uh, router um, and we're going to use Ansible for that. So see you in next video.